Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to another 50 cent vlog. Today I'd like to piggyback off of what we talked about last week, talking about purpose and meaning. And I'd like to ask about the topic of self-identity. Rather, focusing on the idea of self-definition. How do we define ourselves? And do we let other people define ourselves? I feel like it can be really easy to let other people define who we are. And when we fall into that, we tend to try to please the people around us. And in the end, it just leaves us feeling incomplete and sad. Because of how strong other people's opinions of us can be, we forget that they really are just opinions. Our idea of our own identity is something that is firmly founded in ourselves. They didn't make us who we are. We did. And when we understand why and who we are, then it's easier to appreciate the person that we all are. The point I'm trying to pull together is the idea that we can't help what other people think. Meaning, as long as we're basing our opinion on that, we're defining ourselves by something we can't control. We can control who we are. So if we base our opinion on what we think of ourselves, unbiased of what other people think, then we become a full emanation of our own ability to construct our future. We become a perfect example of self-determination and self-love. I feel it's something that can be very difficult, and I don't mean to portray it as the ultimate solution to all problems, but I do feel like it's a long-term goal that I find worth pursuing. The idea of completely removing what other people think about me to pursue my own personal inner peace about who I am and what I'm doing in life. I feel like that alone really is a solution to most of my angst my social anxieties and my personal insecurities really all stem from the fact that I feel I can't control whether or not I'm good enough. Having that realization that I do control whether or not I'm good enough in my own eyes was really an enablement toward me and I felt a sense of power knowing that other people didn't have control over who I was or how I was perceived but that it really was up to me whether I wanted to accept what these people were saying or whether I wanted to accept that these are really just words based on other people's views and that we are fully left up to determine who we are on our own terms. Anyways, I know that was pretty confusing and a bit to sift through, but I'd just like to ask if you could leave in the comments, how do you find a good way to define yourself and who you are? Anyways, thank you guys. Toda chabad. I'll see you all.